Well, this is it. The home stretch. We'll be okay going through this? This'll take us home, right? This isn't over yet. Keep Chris safe. I know. You take care of yourself, too. Everyone, are you ready to defend it? <laughs> In that case, I'll start the digger.
Wormhole generation has surpassed 90%. The wormhole will stabilize momentarily. I see things are going smoothly. Gruen. Yes. With communications open again, I wanted to talk to you. To give you all a warning. What's that supposed to mean? Listen to me carefully. At this rate, the wormhole is going to fail again. You must increase the digger's output immediately. I cannot comprehend that order. If we increase the output any further, it will only attract more wanderers. Calculations show that the current output is already sufficient to generate the wormhole. And what if those calculations are wrong? We've been looking into things here. We've discovered that unbeknownst to us, Good Luck installed a black box in Virgil. It's possible that this black box is influencing Virgil's thinking as we speak. Now that you mention it, I did come across a data area with some crazy encryption. It's been there since you first became operational. Good Luck has already prevented you from getting home once with his data tampering. Remember what happened. The same thing will happen again. I would ask for Good Luck to explain himself. I'm sure he can clear up this misunderstanding. I'm afraid that won't be possible. Good Luck... Good Luck is dead. He committed suicide. I made my way there as soon as I heard, but... His body was already cold. It wasn't just this unauthorized mission or his tampering with Virgil. We suspected him of numerous betrayals against our organization. Whatever he was after, I will not allow anyone else to suffer as a result of his actions. Let his death be the end of this foolish expedition. Am I clear? Do not listen to the AI. If you want to make it home, increase the digger's output to its maximum. Captain, mathematically speaking, there is ample evidence to support my deduction that increasing the output will be dangerous. Do you still wish to increase the output? I'd like to believe you, but you did see something funny going on with Virgil's programming, right, Chris? Mm-hmm. If good luck's tricked us again, who knows what might happen this time? I think we should increase the output. You agree, right, Captain? Uh, are we sure this is the right move? You don't need me anymore, do you? We will respect your wishes. Increasing wormhole digger output. I hope this decision is the best course of action for you. Sorry to keep you waiting. The wormhole activation sequence has been completed. We did it. Please, everyone, step into the wormhole. So long, Captain. It has been an honor working with you. Oh, no. The wormhole was stable, but I now detect energy fluctuations within it. Something is disrupting the wormhole. Captain, look! There is no mistaking this reading. The Lord of Dust. Get to the wormhole at once. It appears as though the Lord of Dust is attracted to the Digger's energy. Hurry to the top. 
Under the circumstances, returning home through the wormhole is the optimum escape route. Captain, you must hurry. You cannot let the Lord of Dust catch up to you. If it travels through the wormhole, it will likely end up in your world. Once you have all gone through, we'll close the wormhole to prevent it from following you. Please, you have to trust us.
Looks like we're all here. But are we really? I knew it. We are home, aren't we?
Welcome to the next circle. Hate to break it to you, but your journey's not over yet. I'm sure you have plenty of new questions, but first, let's get you somewhere safe. message. That son of a bitch. He's still screwing with us. The man is dead. Get angry all you want, but what good will it do now? What was that he meant by the fate of mankind resting on this mission? One thing does come to mind. It has to do with why Mr. Gruen wanted you to increase the output of the digger. I suspect it was because he was trying to bring the Lord of Dust into our world. What? That level of output truly was unnecessary for us to return home. He likely wanted to increase its size in order for the Lord of Dust to be able to go through it. But why would he want that? Gruen wanted to secure a large energy source, it would seem. After all, the Lord of Dust contains a massive amount of energy, far greater than any wanderer. But... If something like that ended up in our world? It would pose an extremely high threat to the planet. This is only a guess, but I think Good Luck wanted to destroy the Lord of Dust to prevent Gruen from getting his hands on it. In that case, you really could say the fate of mankind rests on this mission. This has got nothing to do with me. Reeve! As far as saving the world and Good Luck's mission goes, but it looks like we're gonna have to take out that thing in order to get home. It might not be so lucky next time it attacks. Well, all right then, it's settled. Let's go find this Charon survivor Good Luck was talking about. I will continue to provide mission support, assuming you all trust me. Sorry for doubting you before. We have faith in you, Virgil. Let's make it home together. To facilitate exploration of this region, begin by activating the wormhole transporter. To do so, you'll first need to secure the data on the memory board in this area. We detect wanderers here that weren't present at our previous location. Take great care when searching for the memory board. 